I'm not gonna lie, at first I really wanted this video to be a shorts, but because of the fact that I'm going to be covering so many things in this video, it might end up being way more than a minute. Alright, so last week I uploaded a video about fusion reinforcements and how I thought it was a broken card. And of course, I still stand by what I said, but I did make a mistake in my video. I basically said that you could use Muddy Mud Dragon alongside Natura Beast or Barkyon to substitute it as the other fusion material to summon Natura Exterior. And the reason why I thought that was because in my head, Muddy Mud Dragon kind of substitute itself as the material needed for the fusion summon, meaning that if you already had Barkion, you substitute Muddy Mud Dragon for Natura Beast, and for the context of the fusion summon, it becomes Naturia Beast. But that is not how Yu-Gi-Oh functions, unfortunately. If you take a look at Natura Exterior, you would actually see that it has a clause that stipulates that it can only be summoned with the above fusion materials. Now again, because of the fact that Muddy Mud Dragon is substituting itself as Natura Beast for example, and then you're also using Natura Barkion, you're technically using the above fusion materials. Right, that kind of makes sense, and you know, Cyber Dragon players, they kind of understand this clause because, you know, we can't play instant fusion to summon Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon because we understand that you can't be fusion summoning Rampage if you're not using the summoning materials. But what I didn't know about that rule was the fact that uh, it's basically strict fusion summoning and it means that you cannot use monsters that substitute themselves as other monsters for the purpose of fusion summoning. So not only is that kind of stupid, but what makes it worse is that you actually can use monsters that copy the name of other monsters for that fusion summon. So in other words, you can't use Muddy Mud Dragon to substitute itself as something to fusion summon Natura Exterio, but you can use a card like Phantom of Chaos to copy Natura Beast's name and then use it as the summoning material for Natura Exterio. This ruling just isn't intuitive at all, like you can't really look at the statement and then be like, oh yeah, that obviously makes sense, I can't use Muddy Mud Dragon, but it makes sense that I can use Phantom of Chaos. This ruling is extremely arbitrary, like you can't really guess it with, you know, logic, obviously, or like interpretation of problem solving card text. The only way to really know about it is if something bad ever happened to you in that context. Like basically you have to be playing a game and then you actually do this interaction and a judge comes to you and says like no you can't do that and honestly because of how extremely irrelevant this was for so many years i think konami should just grab it all together to avoid confusion in the future now another way to fix this illogical rule would be by adopting more intuitive card text instead a to Z Dragon Buster Cannon is a perfect example because you can tell, unlike Nature Exterio, just by reading at the card text that you actually need the real fusion summon materials in order to summon it. It explicitly states that you need cards with the above original names, so you can't really use something that copies the name of something or substitute itself as something else. Now, there's a second rule in Yu-Gi-Oh that I really don't like because, again, it's extremely arbitrary and counterintuitive and that would have everything to do with Green Baboon. I'll make it simple for you in case you've never heard about it before. So you're not allowed to use more than one trigger effect of a monster that would try to potentially summon itself from the hand per chain. So for example, you can't use Salamangrid Gazelle and Parallel Exceeds effect to summon themselves from hand in the same chain because they're trigger effects that summon themselves from the hand. With that being said, you can use multiple gammas in the same chain because gamma is a quick effect, not a trigger effect. And again, this is not really the kind of rule that you can guess with logic, you just have to know that it exists. If you learned playing Yu-Gi-Oh with online automated simulators, you might have even believed that there was a bug within the software. I know when I started playing Pendulums with Astrograph Sorcerer and Chronograph, I was extremely confused. I just didn't understand why I couldn't use both Astrograph and Chronograph in the same chain because nothing in the card text told me I couldn't. And again, this is a rule that Konami put in place back when Green Baboon used to be abused. And this has nothing to do with coherence or interpretation of card text, but rather just to nerf heavy special summoning. So I'll be honest here, I don't necessarily believe that these rulings are unhealthy or anything, I just believe that they're illogical and counterintuitive. Again, regardless of your comprehension and, you know, interpretation of rulings and card text in Yu-Gi-Oh, you'll never know about these rules unless you're told about them. It is somewhat fair that they exist now, but at the same time, I think they should have never existed in the first place. Instead of using Green Baboon as a scapegoat to create a new rule from that that every single card in the future would have to suffer from, I think Green Baboon should have just gotten, you know, errata or banned, and then every single card in the future should have had like a once per turn restriction or something. I think rulings should be obvious and easy to understand instead of kind of sporadic and arbitrary. Anyways, that's just how I feel about the subject, but it's kind of irrelevant, it's just my opinion. Anyways guys, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.